As we go out, and, and the, the metaphor is jazz. We know what the movie is. We've studied a bit about it. We don't do table readings. We don't do any rehearsals. But we know we, we know what the, we know. We're playing Night in Tunisia, or one of, one of Train's tunes, or whatever. My favorite thing. And once we know that, then I don't want to I don't want to pack the mind, the, the hard drive, with too much um, repetition. You don't have to memorize anything. You have to, you have to know how to be alive in the moment, as those jazz players showed us back starting in the late 40s and with a small combo movement that uh, changed my life. So I've never forgotten it, and that's, that's why I do it this way. So, so no, no tripods anywhere. We use drones. You see some of that. And uh, lastly, um, I want to just say thanks to the producers. Uh, um, Few that I can mention: Michelle Allen, John Petrov, and so on. John Petrov is also the editor and, and one of the shooters. And uh, Rusty Murphy, who's done everything for us for so many years, and is one of the lead players. Yeah. So um, more thanks later when I, everyone's going to come down here, and we're going to have a kind of a cartel of uh, of um, resounding hopefully smart and, and, and penetrating answers to your questions for the 20 minutes that we have. And the last piece is just a piece of good news. Tomorrow, if you will look into the uh, Deadline Hollywood, which I never even knew what it was, but the announcement's going to be made of a deal that we've made with a, a company that I can't mention now. It's, it's probably the best uh, art distributor in, in, the, in the country, certainly in the world, is one of the best. And they're taking not just this film, but all my 40, our 40. <laughs> so, so you don't have to look at uh, whatever they said, Ted on Hollywood, but take it from me. So, hey, thanks a lot once again, Sterling, for everything you've done for us. And uh, I guess we should get on with it. I have come to this. So I asked the projectionist if she would just keep the music up. And uh, you know, it's, normally you think that's just titles, so you can walk out or whatever. And, and it, of course, if you walk out, that's your choice. And it, it's it's okay because we're only here to figure out who we are and how we can do things. But uh, I just felt I just felt that we had that that these credits are something uh, kind of precious. And uh, of course, it doesn't sound too romantic or anything, but it is romantic and it's about what we're trying to do, at least what I'm trying to do. And um, so the people here that have, that have, including Bruce, Bruce Johnson, who's helped us all these time, all these years, uh, are giving their hands. We all have to be all that hand. 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 furrow brow about this. But what I always do, and I'm going to do it now, we only have 20 minutes, I want everybody in this film, all the people who made this, to come down and, uh, and we'll have a time for just some questions. So please come down because this is, this is, our, this is our tradition. Every year we do it this way. And, and um, we're not going to be able to spend a whole lot of time introducing every, every person, but in terms of any questions you may have, then we're all here together. Thank you, sorry. I apologize. Sorry. So, as, as everybody's um, everybody's assembling, um, what questions do you have? Any questions or comments or any other uh, advice for employment? <laughs> <laughs> If you want to praise us, that's fine. If you want to, if you want to call a call into question, please do. Here's, go ahead. Another masterpiece, Ron. Um, question about: uh, Did you want to run into any real angry rashers? Yes. We certainly did. Anyone, uh, anyone want to testify? <laughs> we did, and but you see, the thing was. 
since I knew that would happen, if that's in that heavy dumb country, uh, I wanted to have that scene, the public opinion scene, and I and I I made a release that everybody had to sign, and I said, this is a fiction, but the fiction gives you the right to be as passionate and or um, dispassionate or whatever that you may want to do, and and we got some of that because I I feel that if we're not able to do this. If, if it's got to be our way or the highway, it's not going to work. And I don't know how we, we speak over these, these um, barriers that we now have. But if they're going to be wrong, or on whatever side you're on, we're going to be right, it's not going to work. Because that's what democracy is. It's the gas and it's the brakes. And the gas is the liberal side, and the brakes is the conservative side, and it's split down the middle, and we've got to find a way somehow to ride over it. This is the this is the path that Don Baima and Pete Sinjin were were in their performance yesterday at, at Kerouac Alley by right by a City Lights bookstore. That's what they were telling us. And thank God for that. <laughs> well, yeah, as far as confrontations were concerned, sure, I was invited to get my ass kicked a few times. But, uh, <laughs> you know, and I also gave them think twice about it. And I think that's kind of where we're at right now. We've got to all think twice about it. That's why the title Fault Line is so apt. And, um,. You know, I could be real emotional. I could do it in a second right now. I could really start bawling. I love these guys. And um, it was a privilege, a monster privilege, to be a part of this project. And um, I'll never forget it, of course. And um, uh, I've worked with Rob since, I don't know, 80, 82 or something like that. Like there was a fun. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know. It's a life-saving kind of a thing. It's a spirit thing. You guys out there, come on. If you're in, you're in this environment, so you, you are looking for inspiration. Take it, use it, and do something with it. And thank you so much for sharing what we try to do with us. Thank you so much. Um, oh, there's so many. Mia, you were so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you really did such a good job. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Rob. Um, I worked with Rob since I think my first one, my, one of my first independent films was with Rob, so it was such a delight for him to invite me back after so many years. And um, being absent, coming back, uh, you appreciate it so much more. You know, the passion that you have for the arts, and that's one thing he creates is art and the fact that when you do other films you have a script to follow like he says there's a table read you have an idea of what it's going to be like we didn't know what the end was going to be we've shot so many different endings that we're just like wait what's going to show up uh, we use them all <laughs> we, we use them all um, but the beautiful thing that you see here is the way he's taught us which is in the moment you have an idea of what the scene is going to be but Everybody in the moment, you are creating your own dialogue. And it's a beautiful thing. Like one of the scenes that I had with um, with my brother. Dane, where did he go? He's he? <laughs> he 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 <laughs> With Dane, um, who's Dan, but one of the scenes that, that we had going back and forth, it was just so beautiful when you have a, um, a scene partner that when you give, they give back because that's when it's beautiful. You can give an exchange and and Rob has allowed that, that permission for you to just feel and to flow with it. And when you can create a movie around people that have an idea and they flow with the dialogue, that's amazing. So thank you, Rob, for the opportunity. It's such a blessing. Thank you. In our poster, we have um, a little phrase, what is it, uh, it's 
Slava Ukraini. Slava Ukraini. Yeah, okay. And that's because we have an amazing group of Ukrainians in our film. And one of them who was a producer, was a shooter, was the editor, and as much the engine of this of this production as anyone is uh, Jean here. So I'm giving them I'm giving him the uh, uh, really great to be the part of the that team. Thank you. Thank you for everything. I'm gonna go on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have a question. Yes, a please. And uh, first of all, I, I I'm scared to death of Stephen Hillary. Okay, cool. But you put uh, what I learned from the film was run to the fear. So, uh, I found it to be a very spiritual film, and and uh, um, you mentioned ahead of time, you know, two hours and thirty five minutes, or you know that, that you know don't fall asleep or nudge, or give somebody a nudge. I was wide awake through this whole thing, <laughs> with the exception of I had to get up, I had a cramp in my leg. Hey, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, and, we saw you go up there one day. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it, it, it uh, to me was, uh, uh, you know, when I think you say it was shot on iPhones, and so when you take that out of the picture, when you take the camera out of the picture, did you find you? got more authentic, more, because that's what I was seeing, is that every, everybody did it, a fabulous job, I mean, just really honest performances, and, um, you know. Uh, well, thanks, because one of the biggest impediments, biggest, huge impediment in most cinema is the technology, which is not necessary anymore. Get rid of it. It takes them hours to light one scene, and everybody's dead inside after that. Yeah. This way, if you know what you're doing, I'm not saying this is easy. But these are very talented people, and we learn together about a lot of things over a lot of years. Um, but if you have that kind of cadre, now get your tech gear. Here, here it is, right here. This is it. And, uh, and we should embrace that, because that, that enables all of us to be part of this in one way or another, as long as we band together in our groups, in our communities, and, and everything, and to try to make films like this. Now I want to give the, the uh, mic microphone to one of our, the woman who's been uh, around as long as anybody, perhaps longer than anyone else, who has helped in making all these films all these years. <laughs> You know, filmmaking with you, Rob, it's a little like a marriage. <laughs> You've been able to avoid that. I know, I know. <laughs> but it's incredible, you know, and we might we might come to blows sometimes, but we always wake up <laughs> and uh, and keep the train moving. And I am so grateful to you um, for the opportunity. Oh, thank you very much. And to the person who asked about, uh, did you run into any folks with guns? Rob, do you remember the shack? And then the the the, the land had just been sold, and and Eric was confident that the owners would never oh, show up. Ranch, yeah. And that was the one day they showed up. And I, I mean, this woman rancher, she was ready to take me out. Yeah, she was. <laughs> I mean, but her husband over, 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 her husband uh, overrode her. <laughs> yeah, there, there was, but there's, it's everywhere. As Don says, it's what we do. And our histories are based somewhat, maybe 90, 80, 70, 50, on who did what to who. And we're still doing it. We still, we keep trying though, and I think the best thing is that you can't destroy either side. Once you do, what do you have? You have fascism. Once, once you get rid of the right wing, you got fascism. Once you get rid of the left wing, you, you have fascism. This is my belief. Mm. But anyway, somebody raise their hand there. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that was a perfect cinematic choice. Uh, 
choice to break up the, the uh, screens at that moment. Yes. He did it twice in the film at perfect moments. Yeah. Oh, good. To represent the <laughs> In fact, I felt the same way. To take it, I didn't even know it was happening. <laughs> I didn't even know I was getting boxed. <laughs> Until it was like so obvious that there were 36 boxes on the street. It, like, it took me by surprise both times. It felt so natural. Like I, like I experienced that before. <laughs> that was great. Good to hear. Fixing that. Um, yes. Recognize it. So I always ask my brother, right? So I was always like, okay, yeah. You have the heart, you have the eye of a shooter, but you don't have like the plot, right? And then I've always asked them, I was like, where's the plot? Where's the story? You need the story. And then after I saw this film, I realized what a plot twist is. <laughs> Grab the plot, like, it's <laughs> 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 uh, I was surprised, I was really surprised. I, didn't, I was like, wow, I was like mesmerized at that point. Uh, uh, I was like, okay, so he's his dad and that's his mom and where's the uncle at that point? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was Uh, does anyone else have a burning desire to say anything? Just, I want to say just a couple of words. Uh, first of all, it's very hard to sleep on this movie. <laughs> and second, it's very deep, deep, deep to thinking about our life. So thank you very much for all you did, guys. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Well, yeah, I, I was I was pleased with Mike Zelma. <laughs> Zelma, yeah. oh, Zelma. Awesome. Zelma is is my is our is our find up there. Oh, she? Yeah. Uh, the, the the woman that was talking to oh, yeah. Corvo Corvo and to our Mitra. Yeah. Well, anyway, I just thought I'd say that because she just thrills me. She's uh, totally honest, very much a right winger, but but very much also. A lot of heart, yep. and uh, you know she's the type of person. If you went in a, if you went down to East Limo Harris and and lived on the beach or got in a hotel and, and you got into a long, deep discussion with her, you'd learn as much as you taught. But you would teach, and she would also teach because she's not she's not blocked to input, but she's living in a very isolated way for to. It, but that's that's a value judgment of, that I that I think that she would she would <laughs> she'd even be more beautiful. Yeah. Anybody else that, um, that, want, that wants to speak or yes? Yes. Uh, so I bet everybody has learned something new um, from this project and from from like everybody has discovered something new. And I was I'm curious like what you being trying to find by doing this uh, film and have you um, answered your own questions uh, on this um, film at the end uh, or I don't know or maybe you have discovered can, something can you new hear him? Huh? can you hear what he's saying oh sorry <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. what he's saying so, go, go ahead speak a little louder so, um, just speak it so, okay sorry the um, part, one more so I bet everybody have discovered something new um, learn something new, and um, I was curious, like, what, I'm, I'm, I mean, everybody has his own story, and everybody has learned something new, but um, specifically you, Rob, um, have you um, answered your own questions, because obviously we do our, we're trying to figure out life, as you said, trying to figure out ourselves, and um, what was the, I don't know, well, the conclusion? Well, the next question comes up. <laughs> Questioning is endless. There are, no, there are no firm answers. Science knows that. The quanta is, is a guess. It's a beautiful, the more I read about it, the more beautiful, but, it's, but it's, it's leading to the next thing. What's beyond quanta? What's beyond what the Webb tele telescope is telling us? There, are, there is no resting place. All of us... If you're curious, it's a, it's a lifelong process of, of keeping on trying to figure out your, my, my own ignorance, if you want to put it that way, or anybody's ignorance, and see if I can get ahead of the, head of the curve a little bit. So, no, I don't, does anyone else have an answer to that? They would like to... Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
for me, it's like with this, it was more there are questions and then there are discoveries. There might not be answers, but there are surprises. And 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 and, and for, for from me, in um, you know, it's so many surprises in when we um, play together. You know, when we meet and 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 we are in this story and we don't know where the story really. You know, because we have no line, so we have to meet each other and be impressed by each other. And, and, and the same also happened with, um, I mean, you've seen the people from Murakami, how amazing they are. You know, we might not politically agree with them, I didn't, you know, but I made friends. I discovered people with a deep heart, you know, and, and that is already a kind of, a, a, a kind of moving over the divide. You know, and they, they, they sometimes, there were moments when they said, wow, I really like what you said there, and I was like, really? <laughs> I mean, I'm politically in the opposite, but they liked it, you know, and, and so, so there, there were, and, and, and that's really also a talent that Rob has, a, a real gift, to be curious about everybody, and, and, and to be open for the story they have, and for what they can communicate, and their life experience, and invite them out. So I felt I had the wonderful opportunity to meet people I would have never met. You know, I wouldn't have dared to go in the bar and hang out there, but with him, you know, and, and I wanted to add one thing to the scene in the, uh, in the, in the a country heart, you know, yeah. with all the political um, divides. You said something which, you, uh, it's fictional, but you said, we can say whatever we say, and at the end, we drink a beer together. Yeah, we had cookies. And we had cookies. So, and that was like, you know, that humanness. Um, I just love that. Yeah. I love you in that. <laughs> and everybody who, who was, you know, who moved along with that. Okay. Well, I just want to add to something you said, and at the end, I was invited back by one of the ranchers to come and visit with my family. Oh, nice. So, and this is after they hated the guy who was sitting in the middle and telling them about the <laughs> <Yeah. from the laughs> yeah. So it was amazing. And yeah. while I still have the microphone, I want to thank Michelle and Rob, mm -hmm. because I come from a different world of, shall we say, filmmaking, where, as Mia said, you know, scripts and plot lines and table reads and all those things are, you know, par for the course. This is an approach that is so refreshing. It always allows an actor to expand and to go to places where otherwise they cannot. And Michelle brought me into this world. Thank you, Michelle. This is how I got associated with Rob, film number one, two, three, and I hope there'll be many more. Rob, thank you so much for giving us this. How are you? Rob, thank you so much. If you have any final words, uh, we do have a late night and we're getting through the house. But thank you so much for being here and for sharing the film with us. One last word from Rob. I just want to say you thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you for having It's Slava Kenya, guys. Thank you so much.